George's Story Time. Hello everyone, I'm George Buxton. Guess what? It's time for another tale. And today, I'm going to read you the story of Cheer Up Your Teddy Bear Emily Brown by Cressida Cowell and Neil Layton. Now, when you hear this sound, that it will be the tearful teddy bear. So, are you ready? Here we go. Cheer up your teddy bear, Emily Brown. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Emily Brown and an old grey rabbit called Stanley. One drippy, drizzly wet weekend, Emily Brown and Stanley were just building a camp in the outback of Australia because it was too ready to go outdoors when there was a Plip plop plip plop noise coming from a toy box. Uh oh, said Emily Brown to Stanley. I think there could be something wet in there. There certainly was. It was a very wet teddy bear, and she was singing a song to herself in a sad little voice, which went something like this. Oh me, oh me, oh this is sad little wet little me. I'm a lonely, lonely bear, and I'm very, very blue. But I've worked with us in Australia, said Emily Brown. I'm bound to find some bears here and there. Thank you, said the tearful teddy bear. But there are no other teddy bears. I'm the lonely, lonely one. So Emily Brown and Stanley and the tearful teddy bear went out camping in the outback of Australia. And Emily Brown and Stanley were just as happy as could be, lighting campfires and spotting kangaroos and making friends with emus, and Emily Brown was just thinking, mm, this will cheer up our terrible teddy bear, when there was a plip plop plip plop noise behind her, and it was the tearful teddy bear, not cheered up at all. Oh me, oh me, oh little sad little that will me, I'm a lonely, lonely bear, and I'm feeling very blue, I've got no other, I've got no teddy bears, and there's nothing here to do. Oh dear said Emily Brown. Perhaps we should do something else. So Emily Brown and Stanley and the tearful teddy bear went out walking in the big wild woods of Yellowstone Park. No, not Jellystone Park where Yogi Bear lives. Just Yellowstone Park. <sighs> All right. And Emily Brown and Stanley had a very happy time spotting small bears and large bears and black bears and grizzly bears but absolutely no teddy bears. And Emily Brown was just was thinking, This is a lot of fun. But it was a plip plop plip plop noise. And it was a tearful teddy bear gloomier than ever. Oh me, oh me. Oh little sad little wet little me. I'm a lonely only bear. And I'm pretty very blue. And I've got no teddy friends. And there's nobody to do. I'm bored. And it's raining. I'm ready to so far. <sighs> oh dear, said Emily Brown. Maybe we should try something different. So Emily Brown and Stanley and the tearful teddy bear packed their paintbrushes and their easels and their most arty looking overalls and went to paint sunflowers in the south of France. And Emily Brown and Stanley had the most lovely time. Splashy swirls of glorious blue and yellow and red all over themselves. And Emily Brown was just thinking, This is the funnest thing ever. When well, there was a plip plop, plip plop noise behind her. And it was the tearful teddy bear, louder and sadder and more drippy than ever. Bobby, Bobby, poor little sad little wet little me. I'm a lonely only bear and I'm feeling very blue. I've got no teddy friends and there's nothing here to do. Bored and it's ready and they're ready to so fun. There are no other teddy bear. I'm a lonely, lonely one. Oh. At this time, her song was so sad and so loud and so miserable that a terrible thing happened. Emily Brown and Stanley began to feel quite sad too. And then the clouds spread and spread until they filled the sky and, it, and they got black, bigger and blacker and drip, drip, drip. The rain came down, and it looked like, and it looked like it was going to wash away the sunflowers. This has gone far enough," said Emily Brown. She looked, took out her red umbrella, 
and pointed it up at the sky. Swoosh! With a lovely swooshing noise. Up, 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 up. Right there, Buddy Brown. Beautiful red umbrella. Wow! Whispered Stanley. Up went Emily's brown umbrella. And leaping out of the sunflowers came one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve little teddy bears who had been having a picnic but were all in a hurry to get out of a rush. I'm not the only lady teddy bear after all, said the tearful teddy bear. We be here all the time, the teeniest of the teddy bears squeaked grump. And we really like to join. Uh, and we really like you to join our picnic. But the snow shot was so sad, we be hiding. I think, said Emily Brown firmly, that could, it could be the time for you to stop the sad songs and start smiling again. Oh, Emily Brown, Emily Brown, wept a tearful teddy bear. You see, that's a real problem. Someone has so much mouth upside down. Sure, but I can smile. Why don't you try? said Emily Brown. Think about your face and see if it now works. So the tearful teddy bear screwed up her teddy forehead and tried to smile as hard as she could. She thought all, all the other teddy bears wanted to play with her, and ping! The left side of her mouth worked free of the stitches and waved happily in a wind. And then she thought of a delicious picnic and Pong! The right side of her mouth unpicked itself and wriggled upwards into a wibbly wobbly smile. And a funny thing happened. When a tearful teddy bear smiled, the cloud got lighter and lighter and the sun came out again. And as the very last rain drop dropped, plop, onto the cheerful, tearful teddy bear's head, all the little teddy bears sat down for a picnic in the sunflowers. Well, are you enjoying it so far? Yes, but Emily Brown and Stanley went outside to play in a rain, and they got very, very wet. Well, we hope you enjoyed the story of Emily Brown with a tearful teddy bear, and we will be back in another bear story in which we will have the Christmas Extravaganza Hotel with a frog. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.